Hi guys, today we have a Dollar Tree haul. A little weird, but yes, a Dollar Tree haul for our travel trailer. I hope you enjoy. And surprisingly, Dollar Tree has a lot of stuff for cheap. And especially for a trailer that it, I, for one, probably won't be living in too much, but my fiance will be living in at work and stuff. It'll be perfect for him. I can't wait to show you guys. All right, guys. So everything in this wonderful pile is from the Dollar Tree. Everything besides ah, this guy. This guy's from Walmart, but he was less than two bucks, so basically a Dollar Tree item. It has cute little leaves, very tropical, and it has a little parrot. I'll toss that over there. And then we have this for the first item. It's a cooling rack. It's kind of flimsy, but I think it will be perfect. Set on top of here. Put things that need to be cooled down be perfect for my fiance but well hopefully it will keep up and not break but if so spend another dollar and we'll get another one all right next item up can't live without those guys clean up everything and then got this nice little smelly glade Hawaiian Breeze, best smell ever. And because we are in a travel trailer, figured we would get this little dustpan and broom. Because we don't have much room in here. And then, got this cute little nightlight for my son. His theme is dinosaurs, so it was perfect for him. Hopefully it works. And then, toothbrush. I got a couple of those. And then scrub, not scrub brushes, but scrub buddies is what the Dollar Tree calls it. That's actually a good price for them. One buck for two of them. And then a spoon. It's actually pretty good. It's not flimsy or anything. And then, oh my god, I had to get these. They're little baby tongs. Like, look at that hand comparison. Freaking adorable. And then, a little soup spoon. Adorable. And then, we got a scrub brush for pots and pans, just in case you dirty them up too much. And then, can't go without toothbrush holder, Dollar Man. Dollar Store has the craziest things, I say. And then, a dish drying mat. I was going to get a dish rack. However, a dish drying mat works just the same and it's actually pretty good quality. Not too thick and it feels like it will suck up all the water. And then a strainer. I'm a little worried about this. I feel like it's gonna melt in the hot, under the hot um, food items and stuff. But hopefully it works out well. If not, we can get a different one or actually get a better quality one. And then, cannot go anywhere without a toilet brush, especially in an RV or a trailer don't have that you're kind of SOL and then measuring cups and spoons I like these ones because they're all white however can't really see it there it is it says quarter teaspoon it's so hard to read that you can barely even catch it up on the camera then Kitchen towel, dollar, pretty good. Scissors, because you know you need scissors. And then a microfiber scrubber, wonderful. These things are so expensive if you get them anywhere else and it was nice to find one at the Dollar Tree. 
And then of course, got another black mitt. Black was our theme, but then I went to the Walmart and found the tropical one and I had to get that. And then got a couple packs of reusable gloves because if you've ever owned a trailer or an RV, you have to glove up to deal with sewage. And you really don't want to be touching sewage with your bare hands, so got some gloves. And then ice cube tray. Our trailer did not come with ice cube tray, but got some adorable ones. And then more. This one, well, more towels. This one's a hand towel for the bathroom. And then a lighter because our stove is a gas propane stove and you actually have to light it with a lighter or a match. And then black hand towel because you know I be loving black. And then potato peeler. Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker usually has pretty good items, especially from the Dollar Tree. I've never had any problem with it. So hopefully this guy works well. And then toothpaste. This is the only toothpaste I will use. All the other ones taste really bad, but I had to get a toothpaste to put in the trailer. And then pizza roller. Pizza cutter. Gotta cut up them pizzas. Whoop, whoop. And then, in this bag here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So, these are shower rings. We didn't think that our trailer came with shower rings and a shower curtain, so we got a shower curtain rings just in case, because you never know. And then, the first official cooking item basically is vegetable oil. You never in my life knew that Dollar Tree had cooking stuff like this. I always thought it was just like baked boxes and stuff that you could buy, like um, cookie boxes and brownie mixes and stuff, but vegetable oil for a buck. And it's actually 16 full ounce, pretty good. And did you know that the Dollar Tree had coconut oil? Crazy. And look at that baby whisk. Oh my gosh, look at that. Hand comparison, oh my god. So adorable. And then, last but not least. Boop. We had to get these guys. Because out in North Dakota, my husband, or fiance technically, needs tissues because, you know, that humidity over there and the weather is crazy. And then, what? Hangers. I only got one pack because we were unsure how many he would need. But if you see right there and over there is hanging area and we have hanging area in the bunk room. So that's good. And then, we needed this cold pack. My son loves playing with ice packs and it was only a dollar. So it helps them with their sensory and teaching them hot and cold and warm. So yeah, that is our small little haul. Everything is all scattered on the bed. I'm going to now put it away and I will show you guys when I'm done. All right guys, that is it for today's little haul for our trailer. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.
Bye.